Hey guys, just want to do a little bit of housekeeping and a house, little house cleaning on this one. Um, what I wanted to do is some of you guys were having some issues with your projects and submitting them and everything that has to go along with uh, the milestones and things. So what I want to do is just show y'all how y'all can make uh, these projects and keep them organized and, and, and submit everything for your milestones. If you've noticed, I have actually seen files for every one of the little parts. Um, as I've gone through and made these um, and I saw, strongly suggest you do the same insofar as with your milestones so for example uh, once I had finished platform part 3 uh, you know maybe save that scene as you know uh, 2D platform milestone 1 or 2D platform milestone 2 whichever the, the case may be so make sure you go ahead and you do save your scenes um, and make you know more than one save so keep saving them iteratively saving new, different versions so you can always go back to uh, the different things so for example this will be with my homing missiles and all that this was file save scene as this is going to be part lucky number 13 okay so that's where we are that's where I have it set up so you can always go back to level th to part 3 which brings me back to this earlier section but then I can also go up to part 13 if I want to alright so that's just a way that I keep these things more organized so once you have this okay I know um, this is a Windows box and, and the other way we're doing this is with the Macs but always keep track of where you have saved and where you save your folders all right. So in this case, it's under my documents in here somewhere with Unity projects and all this kind of stuff. And what I want to do is make sure that there you are, new Unity 2D platform. Okay. So here you can see my assets, all my t uh, all my 2D platform Unity files. All this stuff is inside this new Unity platform uh, folder. Okay. So what I want to do is to pack this thing up whether I am going to be sending it to um, uh, my flash drive or sending it to Dropbox or whatever these unity projects are made up of oh I don't know a whole ton of files so in this case I look at it and I have 1603 files and it's 34 megabytes um, that's nice and wonderful and all that uh, but if I make it as a zip file then what's going to have happen is it will be a lot easier to take with me it'll be a lot easier for me to to save and unsave um, and I can always old, uh, open it up, extract it, work on it, and then save it back in again. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead, and in my case I'm using 7-zip or whatever, but you basically just want to add it to a new Unity platform dot zip. Uh, boom, 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 that's fine. Oh, it's being used by another process. Uh-oh. Um, in my case, I'd probably want to close down Unity before I, before I ended up doing this. Um, the other thing you can do is inside Mac, they always have the... Uh, the other um, wonderful thing which is just go ahead and compress it um, that's what I want there we go so boom bada bing and yes it's, it's being uh, very mad at me because I don't have a because uh, it's still being used but there it is there's our new unity platform dot zip if I double click that it has my folder with all my wonderful stuff in it that I can extract and delete or whatever whenever I want to okay so use this and this is what you'll want to use to submit your files anyway um, so make sure you just kinda kinda keep this in mind so save this save these out as different milestones as you complete them keep track of where your unity file is so many of y'all have been missing and losing these and, and all that and uh, get the Dropbox if you need it um, or keep a, keep your flash drive or whatever but they'll always seem to work a lot better when you have an archive file for it um, so go ahead use these for submitting your files um, also keeping track of your different projects just want to give you guys a heads up